air with some oh oh no uh, okay okay I, I never expected to find myself uh, learning of this um, <laughs> storm. So, uh, yeah. Um, this is Jared, and uh, this is hard news. No, I'm serious. This is hard news. Now I'm going to go ahead and start the video off with a reminder. Summertime is right around the corner, and of course things are starting to heat up. So that means I have air conditioners running from left and right. So when it comes to the air conditioning, if you do notice the background noise, which you will, do bear with me on that background noise. But anyway, let's keep right on going. So I figured I want to go ahead and talk about this since this ended up getting tossed into my Twitter newsfeed. One thing showed up, I was like, okay, another thing showed up, oh boy, another thing showed up. Ah, uh, boy. And, uh, yeah, I figured I need to go ahead and talk about this since, uh, yeah, it showed up on my Twitter newsfeed and I guess I'll get it right off my chest. Now, a lot of you guys may recognize Pro Jared. He once worked with Screw Attack and was basically working with Screw Attack. He left Screw Attack and went and did his own thing on his own YouTube channel. He ends up having his own Twitter channel, Twitter following. Everybody who was a fan of him when he was at Screw Attack followed along with him. He gained some new fans and all that kind of stuff. And, of course, uh, he, he ended up jumping in in doing well I remember he jumped in and said something that kind of like set off a bunch of people and uh, caused one heck of a caused one heck of a shindig but however apparently uh, he is on he, he's popular he's getting I can't sugarcoat this I, I try sugarcoating it, but no. Now, when Pro Jared started showing up on my Twitter feed, there was news of him and his wife filing for divorce. As a matter of fact, somebody screen capped Jared releasing his official statement saying, Hey, I and my wife, Heidi, are filing for a divorce. And, okay, that, that's sad, unfortunate. And then, Pro Jared showed up on my Twitter feed again for allegations in which I hope is not true, because if it is true, then that's gonna be way worse than it needs to be. And then, the very minute I ended up seeing Pro Jared show up on my Twitter feed a third time, next thing you know, I'm like... Whoa, 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 wait, 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 what? I looked into it, and apparently, from what's going on, Jared's wife, Heidi, took to Twitter to basically expose pro Jared for cheating on her, and then proceeds to expose not only husband pro Jared but however the significant other that Jared is cheating on her with I'll go ahead and put the source links in the description and uh, yeah it things got haywire and in case you didn't hear me or you're sitting around here sitting around and be like wait what 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 what's going on what I'm gonna go ahead and repeat myself Heidi O'Farrell, the not-so-proud wife anymore of Pro Jared, had took to Twitter and exposed her soon-to-be lovely ex-husband, Pro Jared, that Jared has been cheating on her with this significant other, and that Heidi has the proof to back her up, and that when Heidi became suspicious... Jared would then go ahead and 
and get defensive, start shifting blame, and then when cornered, Jared became more and more defensive, not only that, Jared would go and get Heidi all messed up in terms with Jared's friends and basically decided to go ahead and block her wife, Heidi. Well, soon to be ex-wife. Yes, you cheat on her and then block her. That's, 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 that's really nice. First off, this is like seriously effed up that Heidi has to go through this. Like, my goodness. Like, really? She deserved better than this. Second off, those allegations on Jared. Jared better come out innocent. Because if he's guilty... Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> no. This is, this is way... It's going to be way more of a uh, poop storm than it needs to be. And really, because when pro Jared thought it would be a good idea to cheat on his beloved wife, Heidi, he dug himself a hole. Dug himself a hole. I don't have much experience with relationships, but cheating on her is a big no-no. I am fully aware of that. Because when you cheat on her, you not only break her heart, but you betray her trust, and you basically betray your loyalty to her, and basically you kind of mess up the companionship, because basically when you're cheating on her, you're basically performing romantic betrayal. When you form a romantic bond with this girl, and you decide to go ahead and cheat on her, that's romantic betrayal, and romantic betrayal causes heavy damage in in their feelings there it's like my goodness you'll break her heart far worse than her heart needs to be broken and when you cheat on her it's gonna basically backfire in your face it's gonna haunt you and the consequences can be far even heavier and may not even be worth it. it. It may not even be worth it to cheat on someone. And let's not forget to mention, I have pretty much read on stories on people who dare cheat on their lover. And boy oh boy, there's been a lot of stories I can remember and a lot of it stemmed from hearing about it at Review Tech USA's channel. And boy, oh boy, I'll go ahead and pretty much go through the stories I learned of at Review Tech USA's channel in a bit. But there was a story that I ended up hearing of. It was It's like a long-term story. It was like from a long ago. So apparently, this boyfriend thought it would be a good idea to cheat on her. Not only that, there was some serious damage. It started off with the girl hacking into the boyfriend's email and basically just deleting the email and shredding it and it was apparently a beta key for the StarCraft 2 beta. Oh boy. And then sooner or later it escalated to her basically breaking a window, setting off a water hose in his home. And it and she went she went crazy and she went on heartbreak and rage from heartbreak because apparently she just found out that he cheated on her. Like, yikes. And now let's get right on to the stories I heard from Review Tech USA. Now, one of the stories, there was a story where she, she was cheated on, so she took the boyfriend's, uh, iPhones, MacBooks, and iPads, and then put them in a bathtub full of water. And there was that whole scandal with that Alice Madison, whatever it was, and then there was the whole Dr. Disrespect debacle. 
that ended up happening. I have ended up becoming fully aware of a lot of stories about people who would dare ever cheat on their romantic partner. Because it they all end up ending in a uh they in in one heck of a poop storm that it's not pretty. And when it comes to the consequences of cheating on your romantic partner, it can escalate to a far worser point where the person who dare cheated isn't being the only person affected, but the people around that person who dared cheat on her romantic partner or his romantic partner or whoever's romantic partner. Like I said, when you cheat on someone, you are toying with your romantic partner's heart and if you toy with your romantic partner's heart and you get it messed up to a really bad state, it's not going to be worth it. Because basically, you're going to end up living with it and you're going to end up regretting it. And it's not worth it. I know that it's hard to say, hey, I'm breaking up. But really, if you just go and then jump that route, oh, I'm going to go cheat on someone. I'm going to go cheat on my romantic partner. It's way worse than you think. Might as well just throw your hands up in the air and just say it. Pro Jared has lost his mind. And, uh, yeah, and on those <clears throat> allegations, you better come out innocent because if he's guilty, this is going to make him look far worse than he already is looking right now. That's all, and let us all just hope and pray that it just stays at the cheating. Alright, we don't want the shenanigans digging, go, unfolding way worse than it needs to. Alright, that's all, and I'll be looking forward to you in the next video. Boy, oh boy.